Okay, they're beautiful and people. Seekers of the truth, the lovers of the tower. So they got this um, reverse fall. Wow, oh, the like, just wanted to fly away by the wind. Um, I know the fall is, is, is a really powerful card, it's a really interesting card, and to get it reversed, you know, brings up all these questions of, of how much fear there might be in, in taking this leap, you know, because the fool is uh, foolishly stepping off the precipice into the unknown, and, and there's a lot of reasons why we don't make that jump, or we don't feel that faith inside of us to to walk into any unknown space. What is that unknown leap anyway? It's not, it, it's, it's not, when the fool comes up, it's not necessarily an unknown situation. It's not like an obvious opportunity that we're saying no to. It's more like there is an opportunity which is in front of you pretty much consistently and constantly in your life, but maybe now more than more than more than normal you're conscious of it and are you willing to make a move make a willing step into a potentially scary space because because of the fact that it's upside down it'll probably feel there'll probably be a certain amount of resistance and the resistance can come in our own heads trying to make any future steps more complicated than they need to be or more um, with more disastrous outcomes in our head or with more weight or heaviness than, than, than they really need as well and, and we don't need to we don't need necessarily to be afraid of the unknown. This card, the fool asks us to find that, that, that little pure flower that's, that's held in, like, beneath the sun there, which is, which is that element of, of simplicity and faith that's often called foolish and innocent and childlike, but is 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 the purity of our connection to the divine which allows us to feel feel the faith we need to feel in order to take the steps we need to take and it's it's just it's a simple trust it's a simple trust story it's like you don't have to know where you're going you don't have to know when the fool comes along it's not about it's not about understanding the big plan and the greatest steps of of all of the next phase of your life or where you need to be going in, in a, any detail whatsoever. It's about taking one step. It's about being will, willing to step into a space that you haven't previously stepped into, not properly. And that's the key. That's that, that, that's that, that's that question or that um, challenge or, yeah, a certain amount of... Um, yeah, there's going to be a little bit of conflict inside when this card is reversed because there's, there's a conflict inside of us which is saying, hey, are you, are you willing? Are you willing to trust that this is the right move? That, are you willing to trust that, you know, you could fail, you could fall? Because you're definitely going to fall because it will feel like a fall and the fool is prepared to meet that fall, take that fall. <laughs> We've got a lot of noise out here. A lot, a lot of, lot of cacophony around this this leap. I think there's a lot of energy around around being willing to accept this this step that we need to take. So, question, question where your fears come from. Question where your doubts come from. Question whether you try to make something a little bit more. Um, maybe a little bit more complicated than it needs to be and is it just you know is it really up to you we don't even have to have faith in ourselves this is the key with the fall we don't have to have faith in our own qualities and our own uh, our own abilities even 
we need to have faith that this is a choice which the divine would love us to jump into. And when we feel that inside of our hearts, yeah, it can be as simple as that in order to take that step, that two, that three, that four steps. We don't even need to know what 10 steps look like. We just need to know what the next two look like and be willing to jump. Have a fantastic day.